Hey guys, I know I look a hot mess, but I just got off work and I'm kind of into hibernation mode, but not completely. But before I decided to go ahead and get a nap in, I'm going to go ahead and do this review for you. I'm actually going to be reviewing this soap here. I can't even believe that it's actually sticking to the um, wooden soap tray, but this is the Kiss My Face Pure Coconut coconut oil soap, coconut milk soap. I'm pretty sure it's probably the coconut milk soap, but this one is the one with mango butter in it. it smells really good by the way. But I managed to find this over at the vitamin shop. I do not remember how much I paid for it, but it was in a three bar pack. And I was lucky enough to spot it behind, buried behind the pure coconut milk soap. The regular one, the ones without the mango butter and what have you. But I was able to spot this over at the vitamin shop and I've been using it ever since. This is actually my second bar. My first bar looks like this. As you can see, it's really, really thin and it's pretty much like a soap scrap. I'm probably going to keep it just to throw it into like a little soap saver bag or something. But this is my second bar. This is what it looks like. I'm not sure how it's showing up on the camera. And I've actually been using this for a while now. Like I said, this is my second bar, but I've been using this mostly for my face and body. I did hear some people use it for their hair, but I'm going to get to that point later on in this video. To put it simply, this is a really, really good bar of soap. I really, really like it. It's right up there with the um, Kiss My Face Pure Olive Oil Soap, which I actually, actually really, really like. And I do have an old video about that if you want to see it. But this soap in particular, it's really, really good. Um, the smell, it has a nice citrusy smell. It's not overpowering and you really don't smell it until you either lather it up in your hands, lather it up on your body, or you put your nose to it like I just did. Otherwise, it's not a very strong smell. It's mostly like a smell that you would get from essential oils, which I'm going to guess is, is um, the natural fragrance in this since it's stated on the ingredients list. But I don't have it, so I can't show the packaging to you. But either way, it's a very nice citrusy smell. I can definitely smell like lemon, mostly lemon. I don't really smell, actually, I think I can smell mostly lemon and orange in this. I don't know, everybody's nose is different, but I know this is, has a faint citrusy smell, and I really, really like citrus smells, so it's really good. In terms of it actually lathering on my face and my body, when I lather it up, the lather starts off bubbly only if you use a lot of water at first, but then it just kind of melts into this nice creamy slash foamy kind of stuff that's easy to work with. And honestly, the lather doesn't really dry out my skin. As long as I don't shower or bathe, or even wash up in like really scalding hot water, if I just use lukewarm water, this doesn't really strip my skin at all. If anything, it leaves my skin clean, fresh smelling with a hint of citrus, not too moisturized though. It doesn't really moisturize your skin as much, even though it has mango butter in it. But for me personally, it didn't like super moisturize my skin. It just made my skin feel normal, but very clean. Like a slight deep kind of clean. And to be honest, it did the same thing for my face too, because I have combination to oily skin. This soap did really good in controlling the stuff on my skin. It didn't leave, um, it didn't leave a film on my face at all. Even though, and with the next soap that I'm going to review in the next video, well, you know what? I'm actually not going to spoil that for you. You'll just have to wait till the next video. But in terms of this, this soap actually did really good on my face. It cleaned it very well. I didn't feel oily afterwards, usually right here, my T-zone. But it did really well in getting rid of the excess oil and dirt and what have you. And even when I use my DIY ACB toner, which is apple cider vinegar, it did really well. Basically, my skin just felt really good using this soap. So I say this is a good facial bar too. Just make sure, the only thing I would do is make sure that you store your bar on something like this. In fact, the only reason that this bar is even sticking to my wooden soap tray right now is because I just used it this morning before I went to work. But use a soap tray or a soap dish to make sure your soap is stored outside of the shower or outside of a humid area. 
so it can air dry completely so you can get more uses and on top of that make sure that you shower or bathe in um, lukewarm to warm water even cool water if you can stand it but other than that this is a really good soap I don't really have many bad things to say about it other than the fact that it's not going to be super moisturizing despite the fact that it has like coconut milk and mango butter in it and I think another ingredient in it. It doesn't have olive oil in it so don't expect this to be another olive oil soap. But yeah I have nothing bad to say about it and if I ever spot it again in another vitamin shop store or another health food store I would definitely pick up a three bar pack of this again unless they sold them in um you know as one bars which I have yet to find but if I ever see this soap again I will definitely try it again but that's pretty much all I have to say about it well almost I can't comment on how well it does for my hair because I have yet to use it on my hair but I did read a review about somebody trying this on their hair and saying that it did somewhat good but it did leave a bit of a film I don't know that's their that's the review I can't say anything about it personally because I've never used this particular bar on my hair other than that that's pretty much all I have to say about this bar I give it a thumbs up really really good if you've ever tried this bar let me know how it worked for you in the comments below if you have any tips on particularly using this bar or what you use it for comments below let me know if you like my review a thumbs up is always appreciated if you want to see more from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I always welcome new subscribers. So there's that. And right now I am going to do a bit of house cleaning and then I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, hit the sack for maybe an hour or two. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Take care, everyone.